Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Bobo, and today we're diving into something exciting for everyone who lives and works in the UK Pret's coffee subscription services. For those who are not familiar, Pret a Manger is a popular British chain known for his fresh made salad, sandwiches, and coffees. During COVID, Pret has launched its subscription services called Club Pret, which allow consumers to purchase up to five free drinks per day for a monthly fee. After a huge success, they have now recently revamped their policies for their subscription, and we're here to break down what is changing and how that is impacting your wallet. In this video, we're going to compare the cost of Pret's old and new subscription services and stack them up against your local high street coffee shops such as Starbucks, Costa and Coffee and even compare them against owning an espresso machine. So if you are a coffee lover or a Pret fan, stick around and let's dive in to find out whether the new terms are worth it. The old subscription services that Pret first initiated is to allow customers to purchase up to five free drinks per day for a monthly fee of 20 quid. It shortly increased to 30 pound per month around March 2023. So this is Pret's push to adapt customers' consumer habits and the increased focus on subscription revenue in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's assume an average person drinks one coffee per day. I've sneakily taken a picture from a Pret's bunch and then it turns out the average cost per coffee drink is around 3.50 quid and you drink one coffee every single day all year round and that will cost you around £1,278 per year and if you get the press subscription during that time you will only be entitled to pay around £360 and that is a huge saving with the press subscription and now the new subscription terms came into effect around September 2024 and that means for existing club prep members customers allowed to purchase up to five drinks per day at half price for a monthly fee of £5 until March 2025 and after March 2025 the monthly fee will be increased to £10 and there will be no more discount on food and assuming an average person still drinks one coffee per day outside your office and the total cost per year in this case would be 619 per year before March 2025 and 750 per year after March 2025 Keep this in mind, I will come back to it later. Now let's look at the loyalty programs from the other high street coffee chains like Starbucks, Cafe Nero and Costa Coffee. Starbucks loyalty program is known as Reward Stars and that means for every one pound that you've spent, you will be collecting three stars and for every 150 stars collected, you will be eligible for a free drink. So I have had a look at the Starbucks menu online and then found out the average price per drink at Starbucks is slightly higher than price and that is around four pounds and that means you can earn around 12 stars by getting one drink and let's do the math very quickly in order to be eligible for a free drink you will need to purchase around 12 cups of coffee from Starbucks let's work on the same basis that the average person drinks one coffee per day outside and that will lead us to around 1460 pound spending per year therefore the actual cost you pay for the coffee throughout the year will be around 1344 pounds how about cafe nero Cafe Nero offers a slightly simpler loyalty program where you are eligible for a free drink after purchasing 9 drinks at its original price. The average price per drink at Cafe Nero is slightly cheaper than Starbucks and that is around 350 quid. Working on this basis, you will be eligible for around 40 drinks from Cafe Nero throughout the year. And let's deduct the cost of that 40 free drinks from the 365 drinks that you will have throughout the year and that will give you around £1,137 per year. Last but not the least from the high street coffee chains, Costa Coffee. Costa Coffee offers a similar loyalty program to Cafe Nero and you will be rewarded one free drink after purchasing 10 coffees from Costa. In order to incentivize consumers to use a reusable cup, Costa Coffee will offer you double the points when you use a reusable cup 
when purchasing the coffee and we all want to maximize the benefit and use the reusable cups and that means given around four pound per drink at Costa Coffee, we will be expected to spend around 1,168 pound per year, which is slightly higher than Cafe Nero. Let's all stack them together. Now you can see a little comparison, right? For some people, they would prefer to have their coffees outside. How about for the others who would like to have their coffee at home, take their time and earning an, an espresso machine? So looking at the an espresso website, the average price per capsule is around 0.46 pound. For simplicity of the calculation, we will use 0.45 here. Let's still working on the assumption that average person drinks one coffee per day throughout 365 years, and that will cost you around 164 pound on the capsules only, plus the initial investment on the Unespresso coffee machine. And I am looking at the original machine, which I am currently owning, that costed me around 189 pound. And if you wish to buy milk frother, that would add 50 pound on top of it, which will be 239 pound initial investment. So as a qualified accountant and with the aim to deliver you the result as accurate as possible, I have looked into two options. One is you are a milk coffee lover. You love lattes, cappuccinos, etc, etc. And you will invest in the milk frother and spend money on milk and dairy alternatives. On the other hand, you are a black or white Americano drinker, which will spend significantly less on the milk and would only invest in an espresso machine on its own. I will not walk you through the calculations here, but I will present it on the side so you can see how long it will take for your an espresso machine and capsules to become more cost effective than your Pret subscription. So. The results that I found have actually been quite interesting. If I compare the N Espresso machine with the Pretz O subscription, if you are a milk coffee lover, it will take you around one year and nine months to have your N Espresso machine more cost effective than old Pretz subscription. While as in the meantime, if you are a black or white Americano lover, it will take you slightly shorter to make the N Espresso machine worth the value and that will take you around a year and five months. However, with the new subscription, with the increased price thereafter, that time has been significantly reduced. So with the five pound per month subscription, it turns out after five months, you will get the value of your Espresso machine back if you are a milk coffee lover. While as if you are a black or white Americano coffee lover consuming less milk, and that will only take you about four months. And with the increased price after March 2025, that time scale is even shorter. It will only take you around four to five months to get your N espresso machine worth if you're a milk coffee drinker or if you consume less milk or dairy alternatives, that will only take you around three months to get your money back for your N espresso machine and capsules. And if you drink two or more coffee per day from your N espresso machine and that period is slightly lengthened and that means the more you drink from your N espresso machine, the more cost effective the prep subscription will be. To be honest, I'm not sure if I would do a detailed calculation like this before I enter the prep subscription. However, looking at the result, I personally find it very interesting. Now let's look at the final results. So from a cost perspective, it is undoubtedly that Pret offers the most cost effective options from comparing with Starbucks, Costa Coffee and Cafe Nero. On top of the benefit of the lowest pricing, Pret seems to have other standout advantages such as easy to access due to its widely spread outlets and branches across the UK. It also appears to me that you experience slightly less waiting time at Pret when you are getting a coffee. However, I personally think, especially during summer, if you are a just a regular iced coffee drinker like me, I would personally think getting an espresso machine, you can get more money for your bucks. 
However, after the price goes to around 10 quid per month, and especially during summer, I would love to own an espresso coffee machine and capsules because you can get the value of your money back in such a short period of time, around three to four months. I think Pret's subscription services offers great flexibility and convenience, especially catering to the busy working professionals where you just need the functional coffee in the morning and you are tight on time. Therefore, if you are a daily coffee drinker and you do not particularly mind the taste of coffee, I think Pret is the most cost effective option. The subscription also rewards customers for their regular spending and they would encourage you to try the new products at the same shop and you could benefit from that as well. However, price is probably not the only dimension when it comes to coffee experiences. The variety of choices, the quality of coffee, the atmosphere, the waiting time can all influence our decisions in choosing a coffee shop. Personally, I think it is unrealistic to assume a person would drink Pratt coffee all year long and fully benefit from the discounted food and drinks. On top of it, with the latest policy changes and the removal of discount on food, I'm actually curious to see how existing prep members and customers respond to these changes. If you like this video or have any opinions on your experiences with Pratt's new subscriptions or any other coffee shops, please give this video a thumb up and let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and please check my other videos on the channel here and here and I'll see you next time. Bye!